like the video and subscribe right now, and this monkey will not assassinate you. Ask Reddit. Hot is of Reddit. When did you discover that you were hot, and how did it affect your personality? Honestly, it's weird. As a guy who has gone from extremely skinny to really fit twice in 3 years I can tell you it gets uncomfortable. Mainly because the second time around you realize how shallow people are. Little things like acquiring help are easier when you're attractive, but making friends as an attractive guy is probably one of the most belittling things you can experience. People just assume you're a douchebag. End result, you become a better douchebag. Edit. For the Reddit detectives who found a pic of me. Thanks for knocking me down a peg it's refreshing. I never noticed, but I always do kind of stereotype good looking guys as douches. As a lady, I can tell you that, whenever I see a really hot guy, my reflex train of thought is that he's either a total douche or taken. I feel like a jerk for thinking that, and I don't judge people though. When I lost weight, I noticed people being more polite to me and spontaneously talking to me more. Not just women, everyone. Yeah. I'm not even hot, and I can identify with this. Started working out in college, dropped 60 pounds, and got buff. All of a sudden girls started talking to me and smiling at me. It was like where the duck did you come from? You do end up mildly bitter. Edit. So, did nobody read the comment I responded to and just focused on girls? It's not all about jit and laid bro. Nobody gives a shit about you when you're fat. You can totally see disgust in some eyes. The worst is, when you get them as you're working out. It's what's on the inside, that counts as kind of a lie. At best you're relegated to the chubby clown. A lot of girls I met in high school even confirmed, I just figured you were a typical douche, but hot. I went through some seriously ugly years in school, like enough to break mirrors and strike fear into the hearts of those who looked upon me, so when I lost weight, grew my hair out, and started wearing more flattering clothes and contact lenses, I was really taken aback by the attention I got. Went from forever alone super virgin to actually having compliments and random customers slash other students flirting. I actually like getting cat called, I was always self conscious about my looks so actually getting attention still boosts my confidence, because I never expect it. Then again, I have massive tits so that's probably the only reason. At least my boyfriend thinks I'm hot. Ex heavy girls who keep their tits get an insane amount of attention, but hey why shouldn't they? I've always been the guy who got the pretty girl. The only way I'm aware that it's affected my personality is that I have to be extra nice or people will assume I'm an asshole because I'm handsome. Kind of annoying really. People assume I'm being patronizing when really I'm just somewhat awkward. You're me. It's a strange life to live man. Actually had a girl in one of my college courses tell my friend in her sorority that I was actually a nice guy after she met me for the first time working on a project together. She just assumed I was an asshole until she actually met me, as do most people. I'm fairly certain that this will get buried, but who knows. I was the stereotypical late bloomer. I was chunky, wore glasses, had messed up teeth, and was a half a foot taller than all the other kids in my class, both boys and girls, until puberty set in, but even then it took forever for any of the boys to catch up with me. I was bullied, picked on, and pretty much tormented through middle school for being the loud, obnoxious smart girl. When I was growing up in my small town in the early to mid 90s, girls were basically supposed to shut up, be pretty, and agree with what the boys had to say. I had a problem with this, so my childhood was rather uncomfortable to say the least. Luckily, I was rather brainy, and I had a few good friends who were equally as awkward. I just kind of stayed with my crew of misfits from elementary school until 8th grade, idolizing the popular kids and jocks. And then puberty struck. Hard. I developed boobs. My bad perm grew out, and I started using Sunin, so I could be blonde like my mom. I got contacts. I started getting self-conscious about my new body, since I grew another 3 inches, and was now tall with some curves I had no idea what to do with. All of the your fat taunt started making a lot more sense, because hey, here are two fat lumps that came out of nowhere, I guess I really am fat. That led to a lovely eating disorder or two, and I dropped all of my baby fat, gave up trying to starve myself, and started exercising, and being careful of what I ate. 
I started high school about 20 pounds lighter and 4 inches taller than I was in 7th grade. I was now 5 feet 11 and thin with a nice set of C's. The senior boys went apper shit over me. I had no idea what to do with myself since I was still a nerd at heart and hung out with the same smart kids who had befriended me in elementary school. They had no idea what to do with me because suddenly I didn't look like them. It was a really hard year. Thankfully, I was accepted by the drama geeks and some of the people who had always been ambivalent to the know-it-all nerd girl. Now I was cute and funny, since a personality had to develop in me during middle school, since being pretty hadn't been an option. High school became tolerable and college was even more fun, because I got braces to fix my teeth. However, I'm only speaking about male attention at this point. Guys wanted to sleep with me. Girls were wary of me for sure. Gay guys were fantastic. Even with my jacked up teeth, people thought I looked a little like Jewel I guess, so it became kind of a cute quirk. Once the braces came off, when I was 23 was when shit got real. All of a sudden the super hot guys who would have never given me the time and HS were all over me. Whispering sexy things to me, buying me drinks, offering to help me move. It was surreal. It was uncomfortable. It made me a bit sick to my stomach at times, because it was so confusing how people could be so superficial. With all of this being said, I don't think I'm hot. I'm reasonably attractive. I would say I'm a solid 7. I have been told I'm hot though, and even though I don't fully believe it, I figured this might help some of you who are legitimately interested in this type of transformation. I'm obviously much better looking than I was, so that counts, right? My husband thinks I'm beautiful, and so do my children. That's all that really matters. I still have the same best friend that saved me from HS purgatory, and she probably thinks I may eat, lol. As an adult now with a daughter of my own, I hope every day that she develops a brain and a heart before her looks come in. Because if genetics have anything to do with it, and based on how damn cute she is at 7 months old, she's gonna be a looker. My son is also adorable, so hopefully it will be a good ride for him too. I've known I was perceived as attractive since about 9th grade. I got a lot of attention from girls, and it made me arrogant and kind of a dick. This continued up to 10th grade, where I'd be dating a few girls at the same time without regards to their feelings. I started talking to this one girl, she called me out on my bullshit, and told me that my personality made me ugly. That made me realize that I needed to change. I really liked this girl and didn't want to be someone she despised due to my character. I took a year off from dating and girls to work on myself. I came back my 12th grade year a changed person. I dumped a bunch of friends who I considered toxic, made new ones, and I was more caring for others. I rekindled my relationship with the girl who brought about the changes in me. This year we'll be married for 3 years. I'm very glad she was bouncy enough to stand up to the good looking cool guy on campus. This is probably a movie. Kudos and congrats bud. I have ugly duck syndrome. I went through a horribly awkward preteen slash early teen stage years I was chubby, had a horrible haircut, was nerdy and socially awkward. I grew a few inches in my later teen years and started working out, ended up losing lots of weight. I developed better social skills from being in theater and having to deal with awkwardness all the time. Drama kids FTW. I guess I started seeing a difference when I would drunkenly get asked out by guys all the time or when strangers would compliment me. I didn't see a huge shift in personality except maybe that I find myself irritating. I still have huge self esteem issues except that if I complain about a part of myself I don't like, it comes off as fishing for compliments when really I actually do still see myself as an awkward 13 year old. The other thing I've noticed is that I'm super distrustful of guys because, as cheesy as it sounds, I don't know if guys like me for my personality or my ass. I mean, I'd love it if a guy was into me for both, but it ducks with my head a lot when someone is really into me, but I can tell they've built me up in their heads to be something as not. Anyways, now I feel like a narcissist, so I'll just stop here. Hope that answered your question. Edit. Holy crap, I did not expect this to blow up. And hooray, the sub is back up. I think this is the first post I've seen that's almost totally ambiguous. You could either be a straight woman or a gay man.
If you're not the latter, maybe an actual gay man could chip in and say whether it reads the same to him as to me. I think many people still see themselves as awkward 13 year olds. Fellow ugly duckling here. I get feeling suspicious. I still feel so ugly. I look at pictures of myself and it doesn't look the way I feel inside. I was overweight, had bad acne, and was not very high on the social ladder in school. I lost the weight, meds took care of my acne, and suddenly hot guys were talking to me. The awkwardness of my personality didn't match my looks at all, and it freaked them out. In my early 20s I guess my social skills developed through uni and friends, and I can now handle talking to hot guys without sounding like some kind of third rock alien. But I have a hard time giving them the benefit of the doubt. I have a hard time not judging hot people as shallow sports idiots. And I try to let on how much of a nerd I'm early on in conversation, like I'll talk about Star Trek or something, and then gauge how much that weirds them out. I figure the quicker someone finds out the real me I either 13 years old who read the Animorphs series alone in her room, while everyone else went to somebody's birthday party, the faster they get a chance to withdraw from the acquaintance. TLDR. I screen people by being honest and awkward. I can't help who I am, and it saves everyone a whole lot of time. About two years ago is when I found out it was after a few months of girls latching onto my side that I realized that those girls weren't cuddling me because I was warm. I had always just assumed they were cold. Personality wise not much happened aside from me teasing them a bit when started hugging me. That's hilarious but I can see how that process ran out in your head. Guys have a habit of being dense because the costs of us guessing wrong are severe. This is some anim tear obliviousness. Wow, I didn't think people could be as dense as an in characters. Good job senpai. About couple of years ago, somehow I realized I'm not that bad looking, but actually pretty decent from outside. Decided to hit the gym. Found r slash malaire for Shian Abyss, bought fitting clothes, started shaving, caring for my skin, found a haircut that fits me, hint, it's not a 3 feet long black ponytail anymore, bought glasses that weren't hideous and so on. Started looking professional and good. Stopped cursing, talking with a more deeper confident voice, you can actually teach yourself this, I was surprised how easy it was. I feel more confident, and at ease when with girls now. Well with anyone to be honest, like when I'm giving presentation for a conference room full of people. In fact, it's me who makes other people feel a bit uneasy in the right way and made me understand how girls at high school felt when dudes would stare them and start blushing when you looked back with a smile. Girls, to be honest, I don't really care about the six, but somehow I seem to be a chick magnet. I don't think it's because I'm beautiful or something, but confident in myself. I'm asexual so usually I just end up cuddling and hugging instead. About misconceptions, well, I look really social on the outside. I'm not. To be honest I've started to hate big conventions and parties as I just can't stand other people. I'm good at bluffing and bullshitting which is a good thing when it comes to my work. I'd also like to thank this subreddit for teaching me how to be myself. So basically I just realized I have the potential to not look like a new bajeek. So I figured I'd try to turn myself into something I wanted. Sorry for the wall of text. Edit. Deeper confident. I'd also like to thank this subreddit for teaching me how to be myself. I think purposely teaching yourself to speak in a lower voice is the complete opposite of not giving a duck. It's also not being yourself. Lol. You've been visited by Dr. Doggo. This doggo will take care of you, but only if you comment I don't have any apples. Thanks for watching. Do not forget to subscribe for more daily videos.